one look throughout some of the neighborhoods in the Queen City these days, and you'll certainly notice there are homes in desperate need of repair. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Elzvon takes a look tonight at the slumlord problem here, and it's really plaguing one up-and-coming neighborhood particularly. From Buffalo's Fruit Belt neighborhood, signs of hope. The growing medical campus with cranes in the sky. But just blocks away, many houses sit vacant, boarding up, locked up, and falling apart. We are not just allowing people to come in our community to grab cash uh, and leave our communities devastated. It's all about the revival of Buffalo. Council member Darius Pridgen says with all the development in the medical campus, the number of slumlords in the nearby Fruit Belt is simply too high. A great number of uh, absentee landlords don't live in western New York. Most of them, I would say, don't live next door to their property. Just minutes away on the city's east side, neighbors face a similar problem. Evangelist Hopkins has lived near this crumbling church for more than 50 years. Its owners are in New York City. It's not only frustrating, it's a safety hazard because bricks were falling. Not heartwarming. It's just the opposite. It's, it's really a, a tear jerker when you see, if I could compare it to a person, a person who's healthy one day and not able to do anything for themselves the next. So what can be done? The city sends out housing inspectors to look at slumlords' properties. Council members can raise awareness about homes falling apart, hold hearings, and even subpoena owners. But the biggest power comes from the court. A law that has been on the books, uh, I believe for the last 20 years, that gives them uh, creative uh, opportunity to correct infractions. Right now, Pritchett says the city is working on a plan to get homeowners into some of the vacant properties in Buffalo. In Buffalo, Rachel Alzafon 7, Eyewitness News.